Hello and welcome back to the channel. My name is Crashy, and today we're going to be diving into a build guide for Jungle Kalari. As always, a lot of y'all are new to the channel. Drop a look at the video, subscribe for future predecessor content, and let's jump into it. So, Kalari, jungler, really strong jungler, especially in the solo queue uh, environment. And one of the few junglers that I'll probably just go ahead and recommend five items for. I usually just give you like three and then we go from there. Let's look at the crest to start. You definitely go the rogue crest into assassin crest into next. This is this is the item. This is the item that Kalari has to use. It's 15 physical power, 12 physical pen, and then you have activate reap on a 90 second cooldown. It deals 100% of your physical power damage to nearby heroes, increase with so charge, and it slows for 80% for one second. Now, so is on damaging heroes. You store 20% of the damage as so. 10% for AOE abilities, so is stored for five seconds. So, so all of the damage that you're doing, you'll have your little crest on the UI and it'll be building a number. The number's just getting higher and higher. And you can, you have like a five second window to build that number higher and higher. And when you press next, you're going to dash in the direction that you're moving and you are going to pass through the enemies and do like a small aoe amount of damage on you you really want to pass through the enemy um, you can kind of chip them but you're going to just dash through them essentially and it's going to pop for 20 percent of the damage that you are dealing um in nearby enemies this is a great way to execute it's a great way to add additional damage to your burst it's very very important that you're running this it also is a little bit of added mobility if you really need it you can pop your next just to move and, and give it a little mini dash and try to run away or chase or whatever the case may be all right <clears throat> so that's the crest you absolutely want this i promise you and let's go ahead into item number one which is malady Malady is 45 physical power, 8 physical pen. It's also 2,900 gold, which is important because it's, you know, it's a cheaper buy. 10 ability haste, and this has parting gift, 2 second cooldown on killing a unit. You cause them to explode, dealing damage based on their max health. So, when you kill a jungle monster, when you kill a minion in the lane, when you kill a player, when you kill a unit... They just explode, dealing damage based on their max health. Um, Demise is 45 second cooldown on damaging hero below 40%. So think execute range, right? Below 40% um, or like execute like style. Uh, deal 40 damage, gain a stack of Demise. Damage increases by 5 per stack of Demise. So this is also a stacking item. So when you are building this item early... You're going to be building this stack, and you're going to be doing more damage to people that are lower in health. This is very, very important. So you gain a stack of Demise on damaging someone that's below 40% health. It's going to build that up, and then takedowns reset the cooldown. So you can just blow through people. This is a very, very important item to kind of get rolling. It's the clear item for Kalari, because once you start getting into the jungle and you have this item, you're going to be blowing up the camps. So you can just use it to explode the camps. You can use it to hard shove a wave. This is a very, very important item on Kalari. This is definitely the first item that you want to go with. Now, second item, there is um, room for debate. I'm going to show you the guys, or you all, the item that I like to buy. I'm going to show you the item that I think is the other item that you can buy. Um, and then you can just try it, try them both. Both and go from there and I and for the sake of saying they're both phenomenal items so we're gonna filter by physical pen on the left hand side Kalari is an assassin fizz pen you want a lot of damage in pen is what you're looking for in general I like to buy vanquisher now vanquisher 3200 item it's pretty expensive it has 45 physical power 10 physical pen and 25% crit and it comes with annihilate on taking a hero below 6% you execute them so keep in mind this 25% crit this is a ranger item and a carry item this 25% crit on Kalari, all things in you know, all things considered, is kind of a dead stat. So you're paying a little bit more, and you're kind of getting a dead stat. You 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 could get a crit, don't get me wrong, but you're really building this for the annihilate passive. And this item, it just it's like a really nasty quality of life kind of feel when you're executing someone low health. Like you're gonna get fadeaway death marks. You're gonna get you know dagger pops where you just smack them that otherwise wouldn't kill them, but it, it puts them just below that threshold and they explode. You're gonna get ults where you just ult through someone and they they pop instantly. It just gives her this quality of life execute feel that is incredibly strong i like to build it early because then you you have the potential to snowball off of that feeling now the second item that you could build in this slot is pain weaver pain weaver a little bit cheaper at 3200 gold, or 3000 gold it has 45 physical power 10 physical pen so let's compare again 45 physical power 10 physical pen but it comes with 10 ability haste which 
again, for all intents and purposes, is much more worth it. So you're getting better stats for better gold value. So essentially, this is a better item for the efficiency. And we have to look at the passive as well, which is splice on ability cast, gain two physical penetration for four seconds, gain 2.5 movement speed for four seconds, stacks up to four times. So you're also getting almost, you know, or up to 18 physical penetration. So this item equally a very, very strong burst item. Um, I, I totally understand why people like to build this second. I think that this item is phenomenal on Kalari. I just like to get it a little bit later. Um, for me personally, I think that Vanquisher makes a huge difference in the way that it feels to execute someone. And even though it may not be quite as much damage, it, it, you, you get some executes that you otherwise wouldn't get. And I really like that feeling. So keep in mind, I would try either Pain Weaver or Vanquisher. Try them both. Find out which one feels better to you build that third this is a non-negotiable is perforator um well i say it's perforator it really is kind of negotiable on demolisher and let me let me take a pause for people that are playing carries for people that are playing assassins let's look at demolisher and perforator really quickly perforator has puncture right you see that puncture passive ignore 28 percent of physical armor demolisher has puncture passive ignore 30 percent of physical armor you can only build one they do not stack you cannot build both it, it will be a waste of stats a waste of gold you build one or the other, nine times out of 10, it's perforator. Um, maybe if there's a game where they're just like a really tanky, like three tanks or like two tanks and a bruiser, you could build Demolisher because of the, uh, the Deicide passive. Um, so keep that in mind, but I'm gonna say nine times out of 10, you're gonna build perforator. Perforator, let's look at it. 45 or 40 physical power, six physical pen, 20 ability haste. That's really nice haste. Chilling spells on dealing ability damage slow by 25% for one second, reduced to 10% for dot abilities. But again, the reason you're buying this is puncture, ignore 28% of physical armor. This is just burst. You just burst when you have this item. It's a lot of damage. That's why you pick it. You want to pick it in like the third slot. No, no sooner, no later, really. Um, it's a really solid item. For me next, again, I'm going to go into Pain Weaver. You could go into... Vanquisher, if you want to. Um, I will say that Omen is a really big player in the Fang Mao world. I, I want to talk about the fact that I think that this item is really phenomenal. I just don't think it really works on Kalari well. So just want to kind of give some random information about that. And last but not least for Kalari, I, I, I really think that there are some solid options in here. I think that you could go Demon Edge, for example, if there's like a Muriel in the game. Um, I think that you could go Mesmer if you're feeling like you want this spell shield. This is much more of a defensive version because you're going to get health and um, the spell shield. So if you if you're just having a hard time staying alive, I think Mesmer is a phenomenal item. Um, if you want a little bit of poke and like extra damage and hate extra haste, Infernum is a really uh, solid item. So where I could give you a fifth slot, I'm just gonna give you some options. Uh, if you need some magic armor, I think that Dread is really really solid. If you if you you know this is like if you need spell shield and health Dread is like if you need some magic armor. This is gonna give you a bit additional pen when the magic armor is uh, is active on you as well. Um, so. Keep in mind, there's definitely some solid fifth slots, and that's the way that I would build Kalari. Now, I did get uh, a recommendation in uh, one of my comments for one of these videos to talk about the uh, ability priority. So I could do that. It's it's a it's a build guide, but I'd be more than happy to. With Kalari, you're going to be maxing crippling daggers. Crippling daggers is going to increase the damage and lower the cooldown, if I remember correctly, of your actual daggers. So you want to be maxing your damage, your crippling daggers. Now, next, you have to choose between maxing your Shadow Walk or your Death Mark. It's going to be Shadow Walk for me. Shadow Walk for me is going to, it's not going to change the amount of time that you're in camouflage, but it is going to increase your movement speed. So I think that that's a little bit better than marginally raising the Death Mark damage. I would say choose between the two. Again, this is one of those things where you really can just test it yourself. For me, I'm maxing daggers into death mark of course on the actual ultimate levels i'm going to be putting a point into guillotine but that's uh that's the way that i like to do it personally uh, there's a lot of items in here that are not great envy is kind of an okay item resolution no nightfall no um nine times out of ten demon edge no death stalker it's cool you could make it you can get some attack speed off your pen but no um omen for kalari not great really strong item for kalari not so much and uh demolisher you know probably no so just my thoughts i mean otherwise you could technically build 
different items, right? Like you could technically look to build um, like fifth slots. If you're really having a hard time, you could build Citadel to try to give yourself like, you know, that'll pull their armor down some and you can you know, try to give yourself a little bit of health. I think with Kalari, it doesn't really feel that, that that's the way to go into the bruiser realm of things. So I don't often recommend it. Um, not, not really. I think much more often you just kind of stick to the full assassin play style and, and you do that, but it's possible. Consider it for that fifth slot item and potentially six slot when we get um, the changes. So friends, there you have it. Drop a like on the video and subscribe for future predecessor content. I hope that you're enjoying these guides. I'm going to keep making them, keep posting some gameplays where I'm, you know, discussing my thoughts. Be sure to be kind of one another, tell someone you love them, and I'll see you on the next video.